All right, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, I'm back. We're talking about Wormwood. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we love you, we honor you, we bow before you. We want to hear your voice. We want to know who you are. We want to get to know you better so that we can be better. We look for you. We seek you. We chase you. We follow you. We love you. We honor you. We bow before you. We, you're the anointed father of our only begotten brother who is your son and we are your family through him and we're going to be reconciled back to you through the living waters the clean living waters of the spirit thank you thank you we thank you over and over again because we have an attitude of gratitude amen you're welcome so who who sent down Wormwood? God does everything. Remember, God does everything. These people that think, oh, it's Satan's messing with me. Say, the devil. Uh, no, the Lord's messing with you. He's sending these devils to mess with you. To wake you up. To get you in line. To get you going in the right direction. Get you thinking right. Repentance is getting your mind right, people. It's not, I'm going to stop this or that. You know what? He had me chasing women my almost my whole life. Why? Because I was bringing women into the kingdom. Do people think that looks normal? It don't look normal to a normal person. Why is he fucking the nation? Why is he boning the nation? Because that's what some of our job is to do. Now... He told me, nah, ah, ah, no more, done, it's over. The fullness of the Gentiles has probably come in. I used to be able to play the game, baby. I still could if I wanted, but I'm not going to, he told me no. Is he going to send, is he going to send women at me? Probably. See what I do. He's a tester. He's a, He wants to judge you. He wants... Man. People have the Bible so fucking turned upside down on its head. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. So we're talking about Wormwood, right? And it went from uh, Revelation. The Lord is going to send a star down and all this... Uh, literary language... The star is going to hit the third of the waters and make a third of the waters bitter and men are going to die because of the bitterness of the water. It's not talking about water, people. It's talking about the spirit. Yoo-hoo! Hello, knock, knock. Anybody home? Lights are on. Anyone home? Ah, the two manliest looking women. Every time they walk by, I'm like, damn, I would hate to get in a brawl with those two. I don't know why they're so buff. They must work out. Anyhow, so then we went to, um, I, I didn't realize this was going to be such an easy, this shit's getting easy for me now. I used to, I wondered what Wormwood was for ages they had my mind all twisted it's like oh yeah it's gonna be a star falling down from heaven it's probably the devil it's probably satan it's probably fuck man it's god sending a spirit of fairy dust over you like the absence it wormwood is absence is a, a representation of it so if you look at absence it goes through a bong like thing and when it comes into the glass first the fluid fills up and then Later, the whatever it is, the plant material that's in there. Absinthe. Sin is in the title. So what, what's the Lord telling you? Basically, wormwood is sin. There's so much sin in the world. There's so much wickedness. There's so much hatred. There's so, it's just, we're just full of lies here. And nonsense. 
and selfishness. Wormwood is the bitterness of, of dealing with the world. So we went to Naomi. Hi. Oh, she looks mean. Man, the women are looking meaner and meaner to me. So, um, Naomi. Um, so they two went until they came to Bethlehem. That's Naomi and Ruth. Naomi was originally from Bethlehem, Ephrata. She's of my people. She's an Israelite of Judah, of Benjamin. Bethlehem, Ephrata. Judah, Benjamin. Benjamin, Judah. Judah, of Benjamin. Bethlehem, Ephrata. Or Ephrata. Some people say Ephrata. If, if, if that triggers you, Bethlehem, Ephrata. I say Ephrata. And she said unto them, Call me no longer pleasant, Naomi. Call me Mara. Bitter. For all, the God Almighty has dealt bitterly with me. We're getting we're getting bitter judgment, man. And so this hurt that I have that my friends were driving drunk and they were fucking around together and he's married and it's all rolled in. I, I I'm looking at it microcosmly, but it's it's basically what probably what's hurting my feelings is that's how the world's going. No one can hear me. I tried to I tried to get in there. I tried to go to the bar and um, be a stopgap for people. Get in the gap. <laughs> what a fucking asshole, dumbass I am. These people aren't, they're done. Really, asshole? They're done. Beat it. Arrival in Bethlehem. So there's that. And then, it, then we went into um, Jeremiah. Then we'll get one more and I'll close out because it's a done deal. It, it, it is what it is. Verse 15, Jeremiah says, um, the Lord's all pissed off at, at Israel, right? And he says, um, he's talking about all the idiots that like GMS and Protestantism and all the religions. They have walked after their own imaginations of their own wicked hearts. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, God of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even this people with wormwood and give them water to, of gall to drink. I will scatter them also among the heathen whom neither they nor their fathers have known. So here I am out here with all these fucking heathens, these pagan monkeys that think they came, they were born, they evolved from a fucking chimpanzee or some shit. Totally mind wiped. Believing they're on a spinning wet ball rocket flying through infinite space. Okay, that this place is millions and millions of years old and dinosaurs used to walk around here. I've never found a dinosaur bone, ever. And I'm an outside dude. I've been everywhere. I've looked for dinosaur bones. Everywhere I went, I've been looking for dinosaur bones. Haven't found one. You know why? Because there was no fucking dinosaurs. You ever found a dinosaur bone? You know why? Because there's not, never was dinosaurs. Yeah, pterodactyls and fucking huge sea creatures. Right, right. Right. So I'm out here with the heathen, the fucking other nations, the Gentiles. And I will send a sword after them till I have consumed them. No one's, no one's rapturing out of here. No one's going anywhere. These people are going to be waiting a long time if they think they're going to just float up on a cloud and kumbaya with Jesus and have a party up in a fucking spaceship and all that. GMS. Yeah, I can't wait till the spaceships come. Yeah, there's something. 
There's something in our sky. I know that. I've seen angels in the sky. I don't know what, what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to, if they're here to save people or destroy people. I think they're here to just, the angels are let loose to fucking, they're causing havoc. Lamentations. Let's see what goes on with the crying. Why are they crying? Why is everybody crying? Because this place sucks. It's a fucking nightmare, man. I'm just, I'm just riding it out, man. Riding it out. The judgment hand of God. Are you guys on point yet? What's, what's wormwood? What's bitterness? That's just being here. Uh, that's just being here. Causes bitterness. This place is a shithole. And I have it good. Look. That's the ocean. This is the beach. There's no people here. I'm, I'm cruising by myself. Sunny days. Nice temperatures. Nice ocean to jump in. Oh yeah. I got it made. Getting ready to go to Colorado, go up in the mountains for a while with my son. Fuck yeah. But you know what? You know what I'm not excited? You know what doesn't excite me? A bunch of fucking knuckleheads. Lamentations 315. The, <laughs> the rod of God's wrath. Uh, Lamentations. I'm not going to go into the whole thing. Bitterness and derision. Um, verse 14. I was a derision to all my people and their song all the day. I was a laughing stock. I w and they were taunting me with their song of hell. Taylor Swift. Fucking all these Beyonce, Jay-Z, Diddy. I can laugh at it for a minute, but it's not that funny. And I'm a laughing stock, right? I'm the asshole. Look at the asshole. Look at the asshole. Look at the asshole. Yeah. And what's your point? I need to get a good hiking boot for Colorado. Nineteen bucks? Probably not anymore. I missed the I missed the date. Anyhow. I'll need to be spending money. I'll get some next time. It's going to be warm up there. Um, bitterness. I was in derision. All my people laughed at me and their song, ta their fucking bullshit taunted me all the day long. He has filled me with bitterness. He has made me drunken with wormwood. <sighs> I'm sick. Wormwood is bitterness. Wormwood is regret. Wormwood is anger. Wormwood is despising and being disgusted. I'm disgusted. These fucking Christians out here. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna rapture pretty soon. It's gotta be soon. Verse of the day. Fucking Tony Williams. What a fucking flop lophead. It's all good. God is love. You better repent. Sin's on your doorstep. Everyone likes to be treated like little children.
People love to be treated like little children. Wah, wah, give me a bottle. Let me suck on my bottle of rapture juice. I'm out of here. Open your eyes. Get that bottle out of your mouth. Come to reality, people. You're going to have to stand up and fight. You're not going to have to you're not going to have to stand up for the Lord. If you don't stand up for him, he's not going to fight for you. If you stand up for Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Akadash, you're fucked. Mother Mary? Maybe. She might mother you a little bit, right, Catholics? Come here, my little baby. She was really very kind. Full of love, full of grace. She told me, shh, I've known you forever. Mother Mary's known me forever. What do you think about that, folks? Do you believe me? Do you believe me? I know you believe me, Most High Son. You get it. You're not no fucking moron. Amos 6.12. We're talking about bitterness. Man, these guys, some of these guys are sweating out here. I want to get in shape, but... So we know what wormwood is now, right? You guys get it? Oh. It's bitterness. cute old man old skinny man with young full figured girl she's probably 34 and he's probably 54 um anyway lamentation bitterness <laughs> I want a friend I don't know how to be a friend I'm too bitter Maybe if I lose some weight. Um, lamentation. So we're talking about wormwood, bitterness. It's the spirit, people. It's the wormwood. The waters are made bitter because the Bible has been made bitter by all the bullshit that people talk about. It's... it's it's sickening how much nonsense people talk. Well, everyone's exercising. I guess it's time for me to exercise. Um, one more, one more verse. You guys understand what bitter is now? It's that feeling. Oh, lug slip on, crown slip on skate shoes. Damn, I miss this big five. Unbeatable prices. Yeah, they'll they'll have another sale. Damn, nine, twenty dollars for a for a slip-on skate shoe, like a um, like a Vans. I don't have a lot of money to spend. They really know when to when to try and get you when you don't have any money. I don't need it. I have I have plenty of shoes. Bend over and lace them up, Jeff. Um, where was I? Sorry. <laughs> Amos six twelve. We're talking about bitterness. Um, for behold, the Lord commandeth, and he will smite the great house with breaches and the little house with clefts. What's that mean? He's 
Like I said, he's dividing us. This devil, the Lord is letting these devils, these angels, break us apart. The only thing that's going to hold together is your very closest relationships. Everything else is going to fall to shit. If, if, unless you're a worldly person, you can have a plenty of people there. All these, all these devils are going to gang up against God's people. They're doing it already. I can feel it, man. My spirit's going, stay away from people. They're not going to bring you any good. No, nothing good's going to happen. Hanging around with a bunch of people that don't give a fuck about you. That's how you get tripped up, stumbled, fall, crack your head, break your arm, collarbone, twist your ankle. They're out, they're out here to fuck you up. Don't don't doubt it. You can wait till you wait till they fuck you up, and then you'll go fuck. JD and Isaiah told me, I'm telling you, warning you. Six twelve. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plow there with oxen? That's what I'm saying. Do you plow on a fucking ball? Do you put? Do you plow on a rock? Do horses run out upon rocks? Will one plow there with oxen? Talking about what's the shape of a rock? It's a round ball. He's laughing at you right here on Amos going, Are you fucking kidding me? It's not a rock flying through space, people. How many times does the Bible have to tell you? For you have turned judgment into gall and the fruit of righteousness into hemlock. Will you rejoice in a thing of naught which say, have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? That's fall earth, people. Haven't we decided what the earth is already? It's round. It's flying through space. Haven't we already told everyone? It's obvious. It's so easy to prove uh, round earth. It's so easy to prove the globe. These flat earthers. That fucking article fucking pissed me off. If there was someone I could have answered to. See, they, the paper, you can't answer to the paper. There was a girl that they, um, she was a literary grant recipient from Fullerton State University where my daughter went to school for art. And she's getting a degree in how to lie to people. She wrote a whole book about conspiracy theorists. And why people believe the things they do and blah, blah, blah. And in that article, I showed you guys. Globe. I don't understand flat earthers. It's so easy to prove the globe. Really? Really? How are you going to prove the globe when it's not even true? Easy? I I think it's easy to prove it's flat. Look around. Does it feel like you're spinning? Does it feel like you're flying? Can an atmosphere stick to a flying ball flying through a vacuum? I doubt it. If comets have tails on them, if we're flying through space, wouldn't the atmosphere... Wouldn't the atmosphere come off of us and make a tail? I've never seen the, the Earth with a tail behind it. Shouldn't there be bits of atmosphere flying off as we fly through space? Shouldn't things be getting blown off of here if we're flying through? Just like a comet, a comet gets tail, right? Shit's coming off of it because it's moving through space. Some things, nothing has, nothing has a tail except a comet, even though everything's moving. Anyhow, um, bitterness. Can you tell? Can you can you see wormwood all over me? I'm bitter. No longer call me Jeff Deloach. Call me Adonijah. The Lord is my Lord, not this fucking pit hole. I'm out.